Hey yo, welcome everybody to the final, final part of Gamers Week 2. We went from Wednesday to Wednesday posting a one-off Terraria video every week, and here we are, the final one. Now, don't be too sad. Don't worry from the reactions, the likes, the support in general on all these videos. I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more of these videos than I am playthrough videos. Now, for all my people that like playthrough videos, I'm sorry, man. It's just, we you got to deal with it, you know? We got to look at the success of the channel and make it keep moving forward but i'm still going to be posting playthroughs and i'm still going to be streaming playthroughs so make sure you follow my stream uh twitch.tv slash gamers 101 but we are here we are checking out a little mod called the omni wield mod which i think is created by the omni swing mod or not mod created by the creator of that mod and uh we're just gonna check out what the mod does i know what it does but some of you don't get ready for this all right so as you can see got a lot of bard instruments in my uh inventory you know nothing no really specific reason why i just wanted to test out some bard weapons but thanks to omni wheel a little something extra gets to happen you ready for this beautiful I've never heard sound so beautiful. <laughs> what about this? We gotta find which one. Oh my god, what the hell? So for sure we gotta try this on a boss because what Omni Wheel does is every weapon you have in your inventory and you you know left click to shoot it or attack with it, all the weapons in your inventory also attack. So we're gonna put it onto a boss. Put the work onto a boss. That, that's a bad phrasing. We're gonna fuck up this boss. That's plain and simple. We got a bunch of barred weapons. You no, know, Bard isn't the strongest. Uh, obviously we should put it up to, you know, put it up against a boss that's way more stronger, like Ravager, for example, because, you know, bard weapons, they're not known to be the strongest weapons, but they're not bad either. They're primarily used for multiplayer. They're not too strong. Alright, see, he's trying to fuck with me. He's trying to be strong. Uh, good one, Bard. Honestly, I can't lie. This, this weapon's actually doing, like, a lot of damage. Like, surprising amount of damage. And, uh, oh, <laughs> R.I.P. Akram yeah there you go that was a bunch of bard weapons you could fill up literally your whole inventory with weapons but uh you know we'll, we'll do that later on in this video all right so we got our hands on a uh, couple of swords here from calamity about eight of them all post moon lord i believe let's just test you know let's start with the first test just swinging it nice nice i like this a lot i feel like i have the infinity stones power just surging through me with all this beautiful all right let's put it to the test against a boss that's gonna be pretty annoying let's go over here because <laughs> that that noise is gonna happen non-stop until that effect wears off but yeah let's put it to the test golem nice and easy boss to test everything else on or test everything on okay took about like a second two seconds maybe to kill him let's put it to the test against the ravager which i consider the harder golem if it beats him fast you know it's pretty damn strong okay hey i see you not bad at all all right now we're gonna put it to the test against something that usually would not ever put anything to the test but we're gonna do it anyways i don't think it's even under the bosses yeah i don't see it here under the bosses so we're gonna do this we're gonna type in eyed and if you guys know the eidolon worm you know the eidolon worm uh is this the head i'm in god mode so i can't die which i'm assuming the one that has two million health you, you think he'll die do, wait, do I only have to hit his head? Alright, see, I didn't do this to do like a little boss fight. Oh my god, he's taking no damage. Can we just talk about that? He has 2 million health and he's only at 1, like 1. 1.9 already. That, I'm saying already, like he's a fast thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, cancel this one. Let's go ahead. Let's put the uh, sh Leviathan to the test, I guess. Might as well. Wait, am I in god mode still? I am. Alright. Am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? Maybe it's because there's no siren. All right, spawn in the siren. What about now? Am I hit? Oh, wait, we need to be in the water. <laughs> Here we go. There's another one? Where'd he come from? Okay, as you can see, uh, it's, it's a pretty powerful mod. All right, so this time I put all of the post Moon Lord Calamity bows in my inventory. And uh, let's just, you know, start with the start with the simple. Just shooting it and seeing what happens. Okay, it doesn't look actually that chaotic at all. Very surprising. Very, very surprising. Maybe it's because I have regular arrows. Okay, the clockwork bow a little interesting. Maybe we should put some uh, chlorophyte arrows in my inventory. I don't know if we have an infinite pouch. We do. We'll still use chlorophyte, or should we use luminite? What about luminite? Boom. Let's try this out. 
all right yeah you know this one should work let's go ahead let's test it out on of course the golem i'm gonna use a clockwork bow because it shoots a lot good damage of course expected honestly i mean obviously we're not wearing any armor we're not wearing anything that buffs the ranger class but the damage is still good the damage is still good uh, it's okay you've seen faster okay you know after we broke him out of his defense stage it went really fast but yeah we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna mess with the mage stuff from calamity and then we're gonna go all out all right so we got a bunch of tomes here and then a couple of other things i know i don't have like every single like crazy mage weapon or melee weapon even when we're doing the melee weapons because it's a lot of work to type out and find all of them so we're just doing you know certain groups of items we got a bunch of mage tomes and like three weird things so whatever let's do it let's just put it to the test simple click <laughs> um this one oh frame rate is going down we're just gonna skip uh the golem and we're just gonna go straight to the ravager all right seems understandable enough right <laughs> do, do i want to test this on the golem all right maybe we should go big on our testing this time all right maybe we should go big this is dropping my frame rate a lot let's go big on our testing let's go kakatar okay not bad as a post moon lord boss not bad i guess ravager could give me could be considered a Pokemon Lord boss, but we don't have him buffed yet to that point. What about, uh, let's try SAX, because SAX, pretty defensively strong, uh, boss here. But, uh, we're about to, we're about to change that <laughs> real quick. So far, I'm really liking this, uh, mage loadout. Other than the dropped frame rate, it does not seem too bad in terms of damage. And it looks really nice, too. I love all the things flying around. It's really nice to my eyeballs. As you can see, our hotbar hasn't really changed besides the edge of imagination. But if we open up our inventory, you're going to see that I filled it up with a bunch of weapons, mostly from Calamity. I just picked out a bunch here and there. Sorry if I don't know what Calamity weapon spams the hardest. That's not really knowledge I keep in my head. But yeah, we got a, a bunch of weapons and we're just going to see what happens. Hopefully my computer doesn't explode like usual. You know, that's something I'm always praying for that doesn't happen when I'm testing out mods. But let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Frame rate dropping. Very, very slowly, but he's dropping. I hit the 30s right there. Okay, so it's actually not as chaotic as I thought it was gonna be. But the damage, the damage has to be there. There's no way the damage is not there. We're going straight to Kakatop. Why does this feel slow? Why does it feel slow? Maybe it's too much damage trying to override each other. And that's why I feel slower and not strong enough. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. Look, maybe it's because the weapon we have leading. When did we use this weapon to lead? I don't, I don't know. I can't tell either. All I know is the frame rate is going down. There is one more boss that I want to test this out on. All right. One more boss. Not, would we really consider it a boss? I don't know. It's, it goes by something by the little name of Dungeon Guardian. And I'm, I'm very interested. Oh my god. All right, if he could do that to the Dungeon Guardian, who has very good defense, it should be able to do it to the Eidolon Worm. Am I wrong? I, like, am I, I don't know. Am I wrong about this? Should I do the, the adult or should I do the juvenile? Do the adult. Come back here, you little bitch. Look at him run. Look, why do you run? You're literally unkillable. Did you guys know you can't even despawn it with Chi Chi? You can't butcher it? You have to leave the world. That's the only way to get rid of the Eidolon Worm. This dude's a big pussy. But yeah, I think that is gonna end off Game Raiders week two. We're coming to the end of it. And like I said, don't cry. Make sure to hit that sub button. You guys really want some more videos like this. And obviously I could tell you guys really want some more videos like this because of all the support and feedback. But yeah, you know what to do in the comments. Leave some suggestions for a bunch of weapons I should put in my inventory. Cause I don't know which weapons are really chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Weapons that just shoot all over naturally. Not like having a bunch of them makes it chaotic. Like just having the weapon alone is chaotic but yeah leave some suggestions because uh, a lot of these videos i am gonna visit for a part two of them and that's why i need suggestions for them for example we're gonna have a part two of dropping a tactical nuke in terraria but in that video we're gonna take all the suggestions and all the ideas and a bunch of weapons that i missed out on and we're gonna use them in that video so it has been your boy gamer 101 welcome to all my new subscribers i love you guys thank you for so much support in gamer this week too and there's there's more coming all right but bye, -bye. I love you. Full, full homo this time, alright?